Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. So today is the 20th of September 2022 and we have a really lovely transit today. It is Tuesday. We have Venus and Virgo trining Uranus retrograde in Taurus. So what this means is now um, Venus is now actually receiving the endorsement from Uranus to be able to transform from the inside out. Um, it's possible that like all of the actions that you've taken over the last couple of weeks have made an incredible impact on your self-esteem um, and that you're really starting to enjoy where you are going. Um, you know, it's that sense of you taking the time to really... Um, really put the effort into yourself and into where things are really important for you, where your attention is, where where you're placing it and how important this is for you going forward. So um, with that being said, um, this also like allows you to celebrate and um, we're just about to hit the um, autumnal equinox. So um, this is about you recognizing the good and bad everything you know about who you are um you know it's it's about celebrating the shadow parts of yourself as well as the good parts of yourself you know there's always so much kind of emphasis on just you know what's the benefit and what what are the good things about ourselves but we really need to understand that the shadow part of ourselves is also something that's really important so um yeah i think that that's something really important to consider So with that being said, let's, I just had to pause the video by the way, because I realized that I hadn't done my, um, my kind of, uh, I'd clean my table today. Um, I gave everything a good clean out and, uh, yeah, I forgot to, uh, <laughs> the, the clip, the cleansed energies must've been so good that I didn't need to like, uh, invoke protection. But then I realized, oh, I haven't invoked protection for the reading. So I just did that quickly, which is like a little ceremony that I do. Um, but anyway, here we are. So let's see what the cards have to say um, in relation to this wonderful transit that we've got. I'm reading with the Art of Adventure Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Witch's Oracle. Despair, what messages would you like to communicate to the collective today? Four of Swords, the Devil. Four of Swords is reversed. We have the Five of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords reversed, we have the Hanged Man, we have the Tower reversed and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oof, okay. All right then. Well, you know these habits that you were talking, that I was talking about before, um, you know, like... Sometimes we can convince ourselves that these are the right things to do when maybe they might not be. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, I had a really good time, like, you know, um, a really good time with what I was doing. <laughs> um, and that's fine. I can just keep on doing what I'm doing. Um, it seems like to me there's still a, like, still a sadness and a disappointment about the way that something has turned out um, and there may be a like the relief in in dealing with that pain maybe I'm seeing I'm seeing something of a sexual nature so there may be some indulgence in like sexual activity that may be helping you to like cope with this disappointment um yeah, I think it's like almost trying to keep yourself stable. Um, and there may also be a little bit of an illusion that you're working on yourself. There may be. I don't, I think, I think it's a progress though, to be perfectly honest. I think it's part of the, of the process of you trying to find out and let go. Like, let's see about this. Let, let's get a few more. Okay. Well, we've got the world. We've got the Ace of Wands, so yeah, the sexuality is quite... And the Ace of Cups, wow. Okay, so it seems to me like there's definitely some kind of new beginning. There's some kind of like new... Something new that's taking your attention. Something new that would be helping you to 
kind of move forward. There's a new burst of kind of uh, of, of uh, energy in that respect, like um, like sexual energy, creative energy, and then you also have this sense of like um, spiritual energy, um, like a new lust for life almost. But I, I mean. I'm not too keen on these guys here, to be honest with you, my friends, because I kind of think that, you know, there's a little bit of like a succumbing to some old patterns of behavior. Um, and it's almost like to not keep yourself frozen, not to, and you may need to rest, you know. I think there's there's something you're getting over it. But on the other hand, it could also be like recognizing that a pattern held that for you it had some like kind of like it had some hold on you and it may even be to do with work you know it may be that you you know you could have been in some kind of relationship or you could have been in work or there could have been something that really was taking your time and you were obsessively in there um Something tells me that because the devil, though, is upright and the tower is not reversed, the, ta the tower is reversed, something tells me that you haven't really gotten over it completely. But because we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Hanged Man here, it shows to me that you're willing to, like, reflect and take time on that. And you're also coming out of um, any kind of... You're, it's almost like you're recognising the negative thought patterns. It's almost like you slip back into the, you start a new cycle, you start a new thing, and then all of a sudden you go back into the same thing and you're like, ah, hang on, what am I doing here? I'm going back into the same thing again. Um, on the same kind of uh, pattern. So I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to free myself from this. Interesting. Interesting. I can definitely relate. <laughs> definitely. That turn over the other way? No. So we've got bats, so we've got rebirth in consciousness, but it was reversed. So that says to me that the conscious self, and it is resonant with the devil, like this conscious self is not birthing itself in the way that it should be. So almost like the conscious decisions that you're making, they may not be as, uh, you know, <laughs> as uh, forthright, forthcoming, um, as, as, and I think, it, I think it's, you know, you've got to start somewhere, do you know what I mean? You've got to start at a point and then you realize like how far you've got to go or what, what mistakes you're making. Excuse me, sorry, I was really thirsty. Um, it seems to me like, you, you are recognizing your mistakes, though, because Queen of Pentacles is upright. You've also got, like, the Hanged Man and this Eight of Swords reversed. And, you know, I think, I think some kind of connection is going to bring you some, some, some relief in this. But don't, but the connection, don't get too hung up in the connection. Um, you know, I think the, the main thing from this is to, to remain consciously aware and the way that you do that is by you know just noting yourself moment to moment like it could be that you know you left a bad situation or you left like a job that um was consuming you that was totally like overcoming you and then um what's happened is then you've ended up you've left it and you've kind of like been like yeah I'm gonna like do a new start for myself and then you've ended up going into the same kind of, kind of pattern where you've ended up like booking yourself into loads of work for this other thing um, and you find that you're in the same kind of like position without actually like giving yourself a bit of rest. This is like being a slave to something. And, uh, you know, it seems to me like you've wanted to get away from that pattern, particularly with this and this. So just take some time. Um, and this is it's really interesting because of the transit, because then that allows you also to see your shadow. But then how do you integrate your shadow? How do we look at ourselves consciously and understand how we can integrate that part of ourselves into something that's more healthy for us? And as I said, this is all part of the journey. It's not, you know, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Um, so, yeah, just keep going. I think that's really the message, to be honest with you. Let me see if there's anything else. 
yeah because like with this tower in particular i'm just seeing it as opposed to like rebuilding something but with this it, it, it because you if you're rebuilding something from this devil mindset it's not going to work out you need to change it um and that that comes from having a different perspective so i think it's understanding that you do have this abundance of energy that's coming in uh this this opportunity for a new start um this opportunity to like move on um but um i feel like you've got to be really conscious about it i feel like if you yeah if you're starting on something new, you've got to you've got to know what was bad for you and how you're going to move forward with it being a lot more healthy for you okay my friends i think that's it quite a short reading today but i hope but i hope you enjoyed it if you did like it please do give it a thumbs up please do subscribe for more videos i post every day but otherwise you have a beautiful day thank you to all of those who comment like subscribe i really do appreciate your support it really means the world but otherwise take care have a beautiful day and i'll see you tomorrow bye